Yo, what's up? I'm Ewa. Welcome to probably a really short video, but this is just gonna be going over everything that we know so far hinted or, you know, little sneak peeks or anything about what's coming in update two of Anime Simulator. Now, the first thing I'll start out with is this. Now, this is a little sneak peek Kelvin gave for uh, content creators to put out there. And I'd like to start by saying, I don't know what it is. I know for sure it's something from Dragon Ball, but I've never seen Dragon Ball, so I don't know <laughs> what it is. It's clearly a transformation, at least I'm assuming. It's either a transformation or maybe a type of boss. I don't know what exactly it'll do yet, didn't really say much else. He also, um, let me read this. He also, in the announcements, gave a few basic things that Update 2 is going to have, and some things before Update 2, such as they're going to be doing some quest reworks and some rank re reworks, and I think those are coming out before Update 2. I might be wrong about that. I know they are happening, I just don't know if those are part of coming before Update 2 or not. But for Update 2, they'll have new ranks, uh, world boss features, transformations, new quests, new types of quests, um... Yeah, new quest revamps before update two. A lot of stuff like that. There's a lot of other leaks and stuff as well that have happened over time, but they were all just way too small to make an entire video on. I don't understand those people that make constant like one minute videos on like an image that comes out, but I'll include everything here. First of all, we have this little image of Sukuna. You can also see some other things in the background spear trident thing next to him and a little dagger thing he looks like. Now I'm assuming as well that's going to be another sort of um, boss or something because as you can see here in this other image it's taller than Kelvin is. So it's either going to be that or maybe like a transformation, maybe um, some kind of you know Jujutsu Kaisen moves and stuff are coming which would make sense because also there's this which I think is also from Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't know much about that either. But this was also another big leak that he gave out, which I'm assuming this one does look like it will be a transformation. It might not be. I'll let the video play here. I forget. It's like around 40 seconds long, the little like trailer they gave of showing it in Blender. So I'll just talk for a little bit. But yeah, so obviously there's going to be a lot of Dragon Ball stuff and a lot of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen stuff, it seems, in this. There's also the Boo boss, which is what the world boss is. At least that's what it seems, because you can see it on the uh, little like arena in the sky training area thing, which I also don't know the name for as I haven't seen Dragon Ball. But yeah, you can see him up there and he was talking about world bosses and stuff and announcements. So I'm assuming this is going to be a world boss. It'll probably drop some moves because there's also this screenshot here that he showed. And with it, he gave the context of like people were asking for bigger moves, uh, stuff like that. So I'm assuming this, as well as some of his other abilities, will be stuff that you'll be able to actually get, which is really cool. He also gave this little screenshot of what one of the new ranks is going to look like, but that's just a small thing. The big one, however, is battle passes. Now with this, he gave just two things, which is this one, which I think is Poseidon from specifically Ragnarok, I think. I haven't seen it in a while, but I do think it is Poseidon from specifically Records of Ragnarok, but I could be wrong. But anyways, he also compared it to the Anime Fighting Simulator Game Pass, but he said, unlike uh, Anime Fighting Simulator, we will not make you go through the Battle Pass tiers without some type of reward. So as you can see here in this screenshot, there's just some rewards in OG Anime Fighting Simulator that just had no rewards at all. So I'm assuming that means in this one, every single tier will have a reward. I don't know if there's going to be like a... Um, premium versus free battle pass. In anime, there wasn't, I don't think. You could just buy the whole battle pass with Robux if you wanted, but I don't think there was specifically a free versus premium battle pass. I think you could do everything for free. The only paid option was purchasing the entire battle pass at once. So if it's the same as that, the battle pass should be free. You can purchase it for, I assume, probably the gems, and then you can just do a bunch of quests and stuff to get XP for the battle pass and then go up and rank up. And if it's the same as Fighting Sim, I assume there'll also be an option to just skip tiers and like buy the whole battle pass at once with Robux if you want to do that. And then the Poseidon thing, I'm assuming, is probably a champion that you're going to get from that, maybe something along those lines. And then obviously there's also this, uh, this picture of like another Titan. He didn't give more context to this one. I don't think it's just there. So whether it's a boss or not, an NPC, something we don't know, transformation, maybe I would assume possibly 
but it could be anything. And obviously there might be a few more auras as well. I don't know much about that though, but I think that is mostly, I might be forgetting some things, but at least mostly, Everything that we've been told, obviously there's going to be some more rework stuff, some more smaller things coming with it. But so far, that's everything we know about Update 2, I'm pretty sure. But that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to play the game for when Update 2 comes out. He said you'll want to prepare because the new ranks are going to give a lot more gold and stuff. So he's, he's updating how much each rank gives as well. Because right now, let me switch back to Roblox. Right now I'm like the highest one and it gives 5,000, which is not a lot for it being the highest rank. So he's not only reworking the old ones, but the new ones are going to give a lot more as well. So you're going to want to prepare for that. Also update, I think I'm still number seven, maybe number six on the defense leaderboard, but that's less important. That's just a funny little thing. But yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you next time, I guess. And I'll definitely make another video when update two comes out. I don't know about any more before, because like I said, making smaller random videos on like one or two screenshots, I just don't understand. I only make a few smaller videos, like when I broke into the hospital and stuff, but that was mostly because I thought it was funny. But yeah, uh, see ya. Either maybe earlier, some other stuff happens, but 100% in update two.